اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session we are going to focus on how to run one way ANOVA using bootstrap technique. Let's say I've got a data and the problem is that my data is not normal and I want to run a one way ANOVA analysis. In that particular case you can run a bootstrapping procedure. So how to run a bootstrap or bootstrapping in one way ANOVA. So go to analyze. Compare means and one way ANOVA. Now here is my dependent variable which I have here in my list. So if here it is collaborative culture. Now I want to find out whether collaborative culture differs across different job ranks. Whether the junior rank employees, middle rank employees and senior rank employees have different perception towards how collaborative the culture is within the organization. Now, first thing, I'll go to Options, do Descriptive Homogeneity of Variance Test, press Continue, press OK. Now, here are our ANOVA results without bootstrapping. So, I've got Descriptive Statistics, Junior, Middle, Senior, 90 employees at Junior level, Highest Respondents from Middle and Senior. Now, Mean of Collaborative Culture in each group. And the rest of the details. Homogeneity of variance. Look at this. Based on mean. It is insignificant. This means equal variance assumed. The homogeneity of variance is assumed. The assumption is not violated. So I am going to use this table to assess whether or not there are differences in collaborative culture across the different job ranks. If this would have been significant, I would have used Welsh test. Now, in this case, it is insignificant. So, I am going to use ANOVA to see whether or not there is a significant difference in how the culture is perceived across different job ranks. That is the main effects. Now, in this case, we can say it is significant because it is very slightly over 0 0.05. So, we can say that collaborative culture might be different in some of the groups. Now look at the effect size. Now it is very small. But now I want to run bootstrapping. How do I run bootstrapping? Using one way ANOVA. Compare means. One way ANOVA. Bootstrap. Perform bootstrapping. I'm just going to go for. Well, normally it is 5000 to 10000. So I'm just going to go for 5000 now. Bias corrected con confidence interval, accelerated bias corrected confidence interval to get more stable solution. Just press continue. And since equal variance is assumed here because homogeneity of variance test is insignificant, for multiple comparisons, I'm using Tucky. You can use any other as well. Press continue and simply press OK. Now it might take some time because now you are running the bootstrapping procedure. Now here are your bootstrap specifications, 5000 samples, confidence interval 95, confidence interval type bias corrected and accelerated. The sampling method that you used was simple but the problem was that your data was not normal. So we are going to use bootstrapping procedure to get our ANOVA results. Now here are the bootstrapping results. First, the descriptives for group 1 or junior level, the N90, the mean standard deviation and all other statistics are here. Moving on, homogeneity of variance as we did earlier, it is insignificant. That means your homogeneity of variance assumption is not violated. Equal variance is assumed between the groups. So since equal variance is assumed, I'm just going to use ANOVA to assess the mean effects. That is whether or not the collaborative culture perception changes with job rank. Now it is significant because it is very slightly over 0 0.05. So the perception may differ between groups. The effect size is small. 
Now let's do multiple comparisons. This is normal multiple comparisons and this is bootstrapped multiple comparisons. Now if you look here, no difference, but this one is less than, this one here is less than 0.05. This means that junior level and senior level have got different perceptions about collaborative culture or how collaborative the culture is. Now look at this here. The mean difference is the same. The only difference that you get with bootstrapped multiple comparison results is the lower and upper level confidence interval. There is no zero in between. So if there is no zero in, be in between, because this is negative, this is negative. So this means that the differences are significant. And what's the significance level? This is 0 0.04. So this is how you can run bootstrapping with one way and over. But what if this result here was significant? This homogeneity of variance assumption was violated. So what you will do is you will go to analyze, compare means, one way and over, go to option and use Welsh test. Now instead of this ANOVA table here to test the main effects that is whether or not collaborative culture differs between the job ranks instead of using this ANOVA table because your violation or because of the violation of homogeneity you will use Welsh test and from post hoc you will use equal variance not assumed so one of these let's say Goems Howell press continue and when you press OK it will run the procedure again but then you will have to use Welsh test because homogeneity of variance is not assumed and instead of a NOVA table here you will use Welsh test to assess whether or not the collaborative culture differs between the job ranks or not you will have the significance value in that as well let's quickly do this if we can get results quickly now here are our results let's assume here this test of homogeneity of variance now let's assume this here is 0 0.04 so this is significant now if it is significant so this means that the assumption for homogeneity of variance is violated now if it is violated we cannot use the ANOVA table to test the main effects of the categorical variable on the outcome so we are going to use Welsh test so where is your Welsh test here it is and this is significant as well so this shows that the perception of collaborative culture differs between different job ranks. Now coming to multiple comparisons. Now since we ran the bootstrapping procedure, we are going to use the bootstrap for multiple comparisons and we are going to use games howl because equal variance was not assumed. And we can see that there are significant differences between one and three, two and three as well. Look at this, two and three. There's a minus sign in between both. So look at this. 2 and 3, this is, you can say it is partially significant here, but with bootstrapping procedure, the confidence interval shows that there is a negative sign at lower and upper level. So, the bootstrapping procedure is obviously guiding me that this, the collaborative culture differs between the group 2 and 3, that is June middle and senior. Here it is. Let me highlight it. Here it is, 2 and 3. Although here it is, you can say it is partially significant, but if we come down here, this is 2 and 3 is significant with bootstrapping procedure. The other one, this one is significant as well, between 1 and 3. The rest is repeating anyway. So this is how you can use bootstrapping procedure with one way and over. Thank you very much.